and welcome to Kenya Secrets, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe. Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance pioneers drove Deputy President William Ruto are inciting the public authority to capture them, Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho has expressed. Kibicho said Ruto and his partners have been offering expressions not upheld by proof with a point of polarizing the country in front of August 9 general political decision. He referred to charges the DP made in Nandi area, where he blamed President Uhuru Kenyatta for undermining him, and cautioned him not to kill his youngsters over their political contrasts. Kibicho excused the cases as ridiculous saying Ruto was making them, so he can be captured to win compassion from the electorate. Ruto was telling Uhuru not to kill his youngsters, so Kenyans can feel for him, and decision in favor of him. He is giving such baseless explanations figuring we will capture him. We won't put him behind the bars now, yet he ought to realize the law is there, and his cases will be revisited after the political decision," he said. Addressing Kamim FM and Kamim TV on Wednesday, the strong PS excused comments by a segment of pioneers in Ruto's camp who have guaranteed their lives were in peril saying they have not requested that the public authority hamburger up their security. A few cases are only for looking for electors' compassion. The main plans we have is to safeguard everybody including customary Kenyans. Kenya is a tranquil nation, and it is unreasonable for heads of such high to charge somebody needs to kill them," he said. As of now Uto appointee official competitor Rigathi Gachigwa and MPs Kamani Achungwa, Kikuyu, Ndindi Nioro, Kiheru, and Gatundu South's Moses Kuria have guaranteed their lives are being compromised over their help for Ruto. Kibicho said the administrators were simply whipping feelings of the electorate with a point of draining political compassion. How could they be dispensed with? How had they merited that? They are just playing with the brain science of Kenyans with such remarks, he said. To add, Yuhiro revealed six leaders he was considering endorsing for presidency before he settled on Rila. With five days to go before Kenyans cast their votes to choose the following government, President Uhuru Kenyatta has uncovered why he chose the former Prime Minister Raila Odinga as his favored replacement. Uhuru embraced Raila's offered, saying that he is awesome to lead the country after he exits once his subsequent term closes and has been rustling up his help towards the Azimio Umoha One Kenya Alliance official applicant. As per a report by The Nation on Wednesday, Yuhiru while meeting a segment of pioneers from the Luo Nyanza districts on Tuesday night at Kasumu State Lodge uncovered that he needed a key chief who might have effectively crushed his representative William Ruto, and a pioneer who has interests of Kenyans on a fundamental level. Yuhiru let the pioneers know who went to that Rila was the most ideal decision attributable to his involvement with legislative issues, with Rila's more youthful sister Ruth Adinga let the nation know that the president let them know that he was the person who persuaded Rila to challenges he was prepared to resign from legislative issues. Prior to choosing Rila, Yuhiru said that he was thinking about something like six pioneers including the Speaker of the National Assembly Justin Muturi. Wiper Democratic Movement Party pioneer and the Ukambani top dog Kalonzo Musioka as well as the Amani National Congress manager Musalia Mutavati. Others recorded are the former Gatanga MP Peter Kenneth, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matyangi and furthermore the former UNCTAD Secretary General Makisa Katai. The president additionally emerged to affirm that, after he picked Rila, he had various consultations with different pioneers to help Rila, yet some like Mutavati darted out. Both Rila and his running mate Martha Karua didn't go to the supper, with reports that they were held up with arranging their mission somewhat recently before cut-off time on Saturday, August 6. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.